Hey everyone, this is Paul from Orthway Valpal. With me I have Kaysen. And Kay How old are you, Kaysen? 25. 25 years old. You had a, a, a motorcycle accident approximately... Five months ago. Five months ago. I had a spinal cord injury, C2 through C6. He's actually come along remarkably. What I want to do today is just demonstrate what myelopathic symptoms look like from the cervical spine. Um, and so that can be an indicator of a cervical spine lesion, cord compression, it could be other upper motor neuron lesion issues, but I just want to kind of show you a lot of these myelopathic signs and symptoms. So the first thing I notice when I check his upper extremity reflexes is that he's a little brisk, hyperreflexive there, and I'll go on this side just so you can see better. We'll do C5 on this side. Notice that he's getting a wrist extension. If I do C6 level here, you're going to notice that his fingers are flexing. So this is an inverted supinator reflex. If we go down here, check his patella tendon reflex, very brisk. Same thing with his Achilles, it's very sharp. While we're down here, we're going to see if he has any clonus. And as you can see, he bounces five or six times. And then if we go here to do a Hoffman's test, you're going to relax. We're going to grab a hold of the middle finger, isolate this DIP, and you're going to watch the thumb and index finger as I flick here. Very positive. He has the same thing on this side also. Um, as far as a Babinski reflex, uh, he does not uh, go down going or up going, so I'm not utilizing that. Uh, but other than that, uh, his strength is looking good. A little hyper-reflexive motion function is improving significantly. But those are some very common signs of um, cervical spine myelopathy. So, Kaysen, thank you very much for demonstrating for us today. And I um, uh, hope you continue to see improvement and yes, uh, get back to work and uh, continue to be functional. So, appreciate it. Thanks.